Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. Uh, I am the Custard Prophet and we're back here with ETS2, um, the West Balkans DLC. Very much enjoying this already. Yes, it was a bit of a chaotic episode last time out as we uh, managed to roll the truck. If you haven't seen that, I will go back and check this out. But today, uh, I was hoping to do, we're in Pristina uh, in Kosovo and I was hoping to do the Serpentine achievement. Unfortunately, I, the job hasn't come up to, to get across this the, the crazy um, road um, to the, uh, the the other side, um, which means we, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to have a nice leisurely drive down to uh, Podgorica, the, um, the, the capital of Montenegro, which is where we were heading when we when we tipped the truck. So um, that's what we're going to that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so we have got a little photo opportunity uh, right here, but we're going to pick up the... Wow, is that what we've got to be... Is that the thing that we... Yeah, the National Library of Kosovo. It's what a lovely. <laughs> so I pick that, pick that up, and I think also I might, I might have found a hidden road as well, which is rather cool. Um, not sure, but we're going to check that out. It's, 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 it's in, it's in Pristina. Uh, but it did look like it might be a hidden road, so we're going to go and have a look. All right, I'll see you when we get there. So we're currently just driving about the city of Pristina in Kosovo. You can tell it's Kosovo because there's the flag um, with the country um, on the flag, as as we mentioned in as the uh, previous one of the previous quiz questions we did. But I really like this city. Look how well this is done. It does not look at all like a, um, a cut and paste job at all, does it? This is really quite impressive. And we have a cut scene on the left somewhere here. There it is. Just down there. So we're going to go and collect that cut scene. And then just up there behind where the cut scene is, is where I think the hidden road is. I might be completely wrong about it, but there's definitely a route across the railway track. And it appears that that route extends beyond that. So we'll go, and, we'll go and check that out. But let's uh, let's get in here. That's not a great place to put flower pots, mate. Right, let's see what this is. <laughs> Little dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? This is really. I've really enjoyed um, some of the uh, this this route that I went f uh, in the in the past drive down from where we were to um, Pristina I'll show you the, the road but it's some really really pretty little drive but yeah I'm liking this it does it has the feel of a, a city not at all cut and paste which is which is kind of cool I've really worked hard on this so yeah it's, this is it it's over over here as I'm pointing with my finger you can't see that over the railway track there you can get over there and it looks like it's a road that goes through, so there might be something there. I don't know. I don't know. Is the things? Can you find stuff that, you know, that is not meant to be found? Was that a missile? Right. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Caused a bit of chaos, but right. So what we're going to do here? So we're going to go over here. Now, I don't know whether we actually need to look out for a train. Oh, new passage! Look! I've, I've found something! I've found something in the game! Look at this! Yeah, I spied it and it's up here. Bloody hell. I mean, I'm glad I haven't got anything on the back of me. Wow, we. Where does this go? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I found a hidden road. You know what this is going to be called this episode? Hidden Road. Well, that's closed. Maybe have a, a quick cup of coffee. With Stavros and his mates there. 
Yeah, Zilla was looking at this, and there was a lot of what he, he described as albino um, folk, <laughs> really, really, really light-skinned folk um, in, in the area that he was at. So there we go. Hidden road found. Yeah. I think that's it. So we've uh, we've got a bit of bit of hidden roadness there. Is that is that? It's not something else that goes down there, is there? Should should I should I have a look? There's a car behind. I don't think there is. I don't think there is, folks. Right. Um, let's go and pick up the the. Uh, the load, which is the most exciting load you are ever going to have in this game. I'm picking up some stones. <laughs> some stones. And then we're going to take it across the way to Podgorica. Let's show you where we're off to. So we're going to, it's bizarre, it's right at the border. So these are kind of illicit stones that have been kind of secreted across the border. But then we go over to Podgorica. So this is the crazy road that we wanted to do. We won't be doing that just yet. Maybe we'll we'll try and get it on the other other way round. Perhaps I'm. Um, does anyone know why? What this kind of this this is this kind of checkered line here? Is this some sort of not a country, but a that's not because Kosovo is 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 that the border of Kosovo? Because that's Serbia. It must be. Um, so I think we'll probably go on this rather nice little snaky road here. So it's going to be fun, whatever we're doing. So let's go and get those stones. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, so we are here at the border. Is that, oh yeah, we want to go down here. And yeah, we're not wanting to go across the border. We're wanting to just, uh, go into the warehouse on the left. And... Um, collect from Orco some stones that they have been collecting right so yeah this is the border into where is this is it Albania I think that makes sense to me Macedonia North Macedonia but we can't go that way Okay, I think the border crossing is there, just down the on the on the left there. But we're going in here, and uh, we should have a truck somewhere around here. Right, it's on the other side. I had a really cool pickup on one of them. I had to actually go into a into a. The the truck was actually in a in a like a hangar or something, not a hangar, but you know what I mean. So I had to kind of reverse in there. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Let's go and collect this. Oops. No, I, I completely misjudged what this was. Is it in here? Uh, yeah, looks like it's in... There he is. Right. Let's have a look at the route. So, yes, we are going on that. I mean that looks more serpentine than 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 that, but you know there we go. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to going on there. That was one of the uh, the roads that amused me earlier, and I wonder whether we are going through some mountains or something like that. I knew. So uh, does that little thing we found? Yeah, it, it goes on the map. There we go. There we go. That was a cool little. Uh, bypass wasn't it right 271 miles I was a little bit worried looking at this that um, when I was looking at some of the deliveries um, that m most of them weren't under 200 uh, kilometers and then I realized actually everything is in miles on my on my thing because it's a UK uh, truck I guess or I'm based in the UK so actually it's not so bad it's 124 kilometers is it's 124 miles uh, equates to a 200 kilometers so actually it's fine it's all good 
so this this uh, trip to Pod, Podgorica would for, will form part of the cruise in the Balkans um, thing that they're doing the uh, the World of Trucks event. Um, so that's good. So hopefully we can have a nice uneventful trip all the way through to Podgorica. We're not going to have another quiz question because I said I, the the previous quiz question was last time, but I will say the, the, it again. Um, so if you missed it last time, you can uh, you can have a go this time round. I have a, I basically have a constant supply of quiz questions because my my little boy basically constantly asks me geography questions. <laughs> <laughs> he came up with another cracker today, which uh, which which may well and make its way in at some point. Dear God. Anyway, we'll make some progress here, and then I'll come back um, when we're uh, well on on the road. We've got 275 miles, 270 miles to cover, seven hours, 41 minutes. We've got a full tank of fuel, and we slept in Pristina, so we're all good to go. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh, oh I, th I thought for a second there was a police car blocking the way, but it was just the uh, the little coloured barrier that they've got there. So I'm not too worried about these trucks. Just need to make sure we take this reasonably well because this is a heavy, heavy old truck, and you can see it is rocking and rolling behind us. I guess that makes it a little bit harder to drive. Perhaps I don't know. Um, it's, I mean, it, it's only just over 25,000 kilograms, so just, just over, which I think is the limit for kind of a heavy truck, but actually, you know, I, I, we can absolutely manage that. That's fine. Um, yeah, so in terms of uh, rolling trucks and things, yeah, I mean, obviously that's what we did last time. Um, and Sam Catal made the point that actually, because it was a World of Trucks event, we lost the we lost our delivery. If it had been um, a different sort of event, so just from the uh, the freight uh, option, then we wouldn't have lost it. Apparently, so yeah, that's annoying, and we could have completed our delivery to Podgorica. Uh, but as it is, you know, stuff happens, and we didn't manage to do that. Um, the other thing that was mentioned. Um, a couple of episodes ago, which I did want to sort of talk about. We're going here. We're going here. Jesus, why are you sliding down, man? Um, was um, that uh, there was a? We went. I can't remember the town we were in, um, but we noted there was a load of kind of overhead wires, which looked like the stuff you might have for trams. And that was confirmed by a load of people in the comments uh, that this is actually, this was for kind of trolley buses. Uh, I think a specific word was mentioned. I can't remember exactly what that was, but uh, but this is this is a common thing in Europe and, uh, or in some parts of Europe. So apparently uh, Tallinn has one. And um, there's a couple of viewers, Parkera, and uh, Megatron Reception, who are from New Zealand, apparently Wellington at least used to have one until quite recently. Um, so even though there are no wheels on the floor, that's still kind of how you power it, which is a bizarre thing in my mind. It seems it seems hard to get right. <laughs> that's sort of thing that the sort of thing that can go horribly wrong. But um, um, that's what it was for. So. Um, are there any other cities in the game where you've seen that? Because I've, um, I forget. We were, I think we we're in Poland, or going through Poland. Was it in? I think it was when we got into Budapest. Was it? Was it in Budapest? It might be in Budapest. I can't remember exactly, but it was. It was a strange old one for me. I, I wasn't really sure what to make of it. Oh, look in the look at the uh, the mountains in the distance. How cool does that look? I wonder if those are some of the mountains that you kind of have to go through um, in the in the serpentine achievements. A lot more. There's a lot of changes in uh, in relief, isn't there, around here? So this is a very nice looking part of uh, of the map. Really, really pretty. Really quite dramatic as well. The um, um, the way it's um, 
the, the, the way the, uh, the, the the landscape is huge. I mean, it looks so realistic, doesn't it? The the background. Wow. Okay, what are we doing here? We're cutting through a mountain. They've just kind of like lopped a big, like it was a cake, a big, a big slice of mountain that's come out. Wow. That must have taken some effort. Obviously not in game, they just have to you know, do the graphics for it, but to actually do something like that, that must be, that must be tough. Right, I think we're coming to the border um, crossing in between Kosovo and, well I'm not sure where's next, oh bloody hell man. Right, where? I think I want to be in this lane, but I think that for whatever reason they're farting around. I don't really know what lane I should be in. Yeah, this is the truck lane, isn't it? This is, yeah, trucks and... Why why, why don't you just get in the right lane? Just get in the right lane. That's all. Yeah, oh God. Uh, on the subject of border crossings, anyone who's seen Zilla's first video in this um, in this new uh, DLC um, had a little bit of trouble, didn't he, at the border? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Two thousand euro fine. That seems uh, that seems pretty harsh. So we're staying on this side. Oh, they've got it's just, and we are coming into. Is it Albania? Looks like Al the Albanian flag. Oh, we got. We need to be on this one. Yeah, Albania. Timber turtle. <laughs> right. What are they? Why? Why are you taking so long, Timber turtle? Now, I don't know. Do we need? Do we need to have a bribe ready, like in Mexico? They're checking our documents. Yeah, Z Z had a, yeah, he had an interesting, uh, interesting opening as I did to this DLC. Um, plan today, hopefully, is to have a perfect delivery, which is which we have managed so far. So I don't know whether I need to, can, I can stay in this lane, or, or I need to stay in this lane, or whether I can now move across. But oh, I don't think I want to be in that lane anymore. Anyway, Z if 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 you're, if you're watching. That's that's how you go across a border without um, without issue. Yeah, but this is amazing. All these areas that are kind of just cut out of the cliffs. It's absolutely fantastic. Is this what it's like? Oh wow, <laughs> this is the start of it. We're coming through some roadworks here, but it looks like then we're going out over a bridge. Here we go. Absolutely flipping gorgeous, isn't it? We've seen some snow-covered mountains. They really, it looks like they're really worried about forgetting you're in Albania. <laughs> Flags absolutely everywhere. And into a little settlement here. There's a lot of these about as well. And you look at them, look at this, like, like burnt-out cars, there's a little car wreck there. It's, it's not quite as, like, pristine and pretty as some of the other... Uh, DLCs where everything kind of looks beautiful and uh, it, it looks more realistic that you've got like a bit of trash on the roads and other sorts of things like that um, and you know burnt out cars there Th sort of things you might well see um, which is which is kind of cool but the oh, look at this folks it's absolutely glorious this I, I've realised we have got a really heavy load, and, and, and I suspect we are going up and down in this one. Which I, we we had this problem before, where we didn't have a truck which was quite good enough to do this. But um, you, you will also notice we are now uh, one hundred and thirty-three thousand euros, which is where we were before that fate, fateful episode. So we are ready to buy to get another truck and get another uh, another driver we might well do that at the end of this episode four hours 34 to go 150 miles but 
it's going to be 150 miles of pretty interesting driving I think I do like this look at this I could oh look at this folks I mean this is just something else this is absolutely glorious right we're coming down the other side now and it's equally spectacular this is this is right up there with my favorite roads um, in the game it's utterly it's just so so pretty it is so so pretty I want to go in this one I think I right, in pop toll of 22 pound paid are we gonna get the back through yeah there we go nicely done And uh, yeah, out without incident. So far, it is a perfect drive at the minute. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Bloody hell, man. Is that, a, is that a waterfall down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. What's, the, um, what's that for? So I'll have a little look here. I'm a bit confused what they Yeah, I was a little confused what that was. Um but it's a fire station, so that makes sense. Uh so uh yeah, he stopped the traffic. I thought there was something to do with that, like they controlled the water through there or something. Yeah, this is this road is is right up there with I mean I've I've as you will know I've not done anywhere near most of the roads on this but I did do the road in Norway a lot of the road drives in Norway and this is right up there with Norway in my mind this is absolutely spectacular what is that are we, are we going over the top of that oh, this is oh look at this this is going to be something <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm far too excitable about <laughs> all this oh look at this Holy moly. I thought we are way over the speed limit, but thankfully there's no... Is that a little building over there? Just, um, can't see it yet. Just on the top there. What is that? Are we just coming underneath it? A monastery or something. They, they, you know, monks tend to live in rather bizarre, weird, and wonderful places, don't they? Well, so yeah, we're coming down the other side into, um, yeah. So, who would have thought? I mean, I don't know how picturesque Albania is, but this is really is is gorgeous. Okay, I think that's probably enough mooning about that. We've got a little way to go to get to Podgorica, so we'll we'll drive through. If there's something else to t tell you about on the uh, the rest of the drive, I'll come back. If not, then we'll uh, we'll probably come back as we go through the border crossing, so I can show Zilla again exactly how it's done without making lots of mistakes. <laughs> he can show me perhaps how to uh, not flip the truck. <laughs> Oh no! I was too busy looking at whatever that was up the top. Nuts. <laughs> oh, we're only 70 miles out. 200, 200 miles done successfully. And the last 70 we, uh, we've balls it up. Right, our sleep indicator is, is getting red. We're starting to uh, look like we might pass out. So we've got a place we can just pull into on the, the right here. Well, uh, we had a nice sleep here. Um, had some uh, breakfast from the cafe. And 
and uh, visited this this here monument, this Albanian war memorial, perhaps. Looks like it might be. So let's uh, let's hook up, and then we can go through the border. Right, hooked up, and we're ready to go. You can see that we, uh, whilst we were sleeping, picked up uh, another bit of uh, cash up to £145,000 now and uh, border crossing just ahead we'll see them follow the lorries and the three we get let's get our paperwork in we did on the previous border had to pull to the side to, to, to for them to check our load so that was fun um, so it's not it's not always the same Everything is in order. Awesome. So I think we might have another one to go through. So just follow along. Nice little bit of weird architecture here in Montenegro. Oh God, just about stopped in time. <laughs> right. Well, thanks. Uh, they don't care so much over here. And there's a little rest stop there as well, if, if needs be. Oh, okay. Got to, we've got to go into the way station. So, what is that? Is that actually in there, or or is here? Yeah. So okay. So I, I think it's when you when you're travelling with heavy cargoes. Okay. Right. And yet an, another gorgeous part of the map. The little cherry trees or whatever they are. But look at that over. Over there, just spectacular. Right. Not far away from uh, Podgorica. Uh, so we'll uh, get back in the cab and I'll see you uh, when we reach the uh, capital of Montenegro. And here we go, Podgorica. Um, just while we're getting there, another what's that, 3 out of 30 discovered. So as we're making our way towards the, the location, remember the quiz question is what um, of, the, of the eight countries that have been added in the, uh, the the new DLC which has the highest population that is the geography quiz question for this episode or the last two episodes so uh, get your hat on, on that what do you think right we are nearing our destination There's a hidden road there. We're going to drop this off and then we'll see where that hidden road goes. It's two hidden roads in one. That's mad. Rock eater. That's why they want rocks. Because they're hungry. <laughs> How cool is it? Have they just put loads and loads of hidden roads? Or have I just been lucky? I, I guess I'm more on the lookout for them. We just, I'm, I'm not even going to bother to park this. I want to get back and do uh, just have a look at that hidden road. So we'll just uh, dump this and run. So, uh, sorry, in a hurry. Awesome. Well, we're up to level 21, so let's, uh, we can sort that out. Just over 5,000, decent amount of XP there. Do we go? I think we're going to try and fill this one up. Right, let's go and have a look at that hidden road, finish things off. I'm pretty certain. I thought I'd seen another one earlier as well. So uh, we'll head back this way. Oh, look. There's one that's just kind of emerged there. Should we go on that one? Let's go on that one. Just at the top here. Oh, no, it's that. Yeah, that's it. So 
this isn't the one that we were focusing on, but there's another hidden road here. It's not a very exciting one. As you, uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, imagine doing this with a really big truck. <laughs> right, challenge to somebody. I want to see a picture of you doing that with a a monster truck. Right, there's that one, but then there's definitely another one. So right, I'll see you as we just pop up the road to see if we can get that one as well. Right, I think this was it. So we'll head down here. New passage, map updated. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire today. I'm on fire. So fly through here. So you can't go that way. Ah, oh, yeah. And it comes out at another location I thought looked like a hidden road. So there we go. Nice. Well, we'll. We'll leave it there, folks. We'll leave it there. There we go. Well, what's that? Three three hidden roads identified. Been a pretty successful trip. One speeding fine, which is very frustrating considering the um, um, how many changes in speed there's been um, through the country. It goes to 19 kilometers an hour all the way up to 56. Um, but almost sort of randomly, and it's really hard to keep on top of that. Are you finding that? Are you finding it really hard to uh, not get speeding tickets? Anyway, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, I wouldn't bet they're wondering what the heck I'm doing. That's, that's some dodginess going on there, I'm sure. Um, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Remember the quiz question. Leave, leave an answer to the quiz question down below, which of the eight... Uh, countries added to with this new DLC has the biggest population. No look in there. Uh, and I will see you next time. Uh, big, uh, and uh, big thank you to all of our um, channel members. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.